Hey guys, welcome back. So today, uh, I'm in the garage with the Cougar, and uh, we're going to be replacing the window motor gear, because it is completely shot. Um, <laughs> so, um, this is actually going to apply to a lot of the Ford windows, but, uh, oh, I guess I've got to put the key on, and uh, there we go, so, loose. so my switch is a little goof, but see, it goes down okay. But that's it. So, so I already took it apart. I know what it is. I already ordered the part. But uh, that's it. All the other work windows work fine. So we're gonna replace that gear. And uh, basically, it's these four bolts take off the whole motor assembly, and you gotta take it out. There is a uh, a track uh, with a wheel that you have to take out. And then the most luck I had is I slid it through and you undo this bolt down here. And what that does is it takes this track and you can kind of push it up against the outside of the door a little more. And you can pull and you bring the window all the way back up and you pull the motor assembly out right here. It's a real pain. Um, you know, if I was a smart guy... I would have put tape or something all around these edges because when I did it before, I sliced my hands up something fierce. Um, but that was a couple weeks ago, so I'm mostly healed. Uh, but uh, we'll get this going, and I'll show you um, right away. We're just going to disconnect this plug that, of course, I can't do with one hand. Ooh. Anyway, disconnect that plug. Four bolts. That bolt, I may, last time I undid that top one too and really shoved it, but I don't know if that's necessary. Uh, but we'll see, and um, I'll let you know how that goes. Hey guys, sorry about the buzzing. I just want to show you, so, this is the motor assembly. I did have to take that top bolt out, by the way, just to move that, uh, that track. But, uh, so here it is, and if I just, so you can see it goes down. But, so the motor's working, but there's the gear. I'm going to take this part apart, this this whole thing apart here, and uh, I'll show you. Uh, but the motor's still good, so I'm just replacing that gear today. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Yeah, so when it's under, like, no load, basically, or going down with gravity, it goes no problem. It seems to be able to hold it uh, stationary, so if I pull the window up, it's okay, but... The gear in here is just totaled. So, uh, I'm going to, uh, to take that apart now. And, uh, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you, uh, a little show. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. You can immediately tell <laughs> there's some stuff that's not supposed to be here. So, <sighs> That lifts off if I can do it with one hand. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. So, it's kind of a multi. Oh, I thought I had it. I didn't. Okay, well, it's kind of a multi gear keepers. You have this smaller one, okay, and it rides in this larger kind of gear that uh rides in the worm gear so then you have this in this case it's red and this butts up with um there's three little i don't know what you call them rollers almost like bearings that go in here i'll show you the new set in a minute and so i'm guessing it's so that you know it's kind of acts as the weakest link so that if something happens it breaks those instead of your motor maybe not maybe it's just a bear a way they use bearings and uh you know it's 47 years old it's been off the road for quite a quite a while so i'm, I'm probably the first one to use it as much as i did because you know i did use the windows a lot and uh, it just kind of gave up the ghost so let's get this out and uh, take a look at the new one hey guys all right so i couldn't film it but i got it all back together with a new cover basically i was right it's like a bearing so they just fit in there and when it rotates it rotates with the bearings 
Um, and uh, it was pretty greasy. I, they they sent me grease. I didn't know that. I went ahead and bought my own. But so now this has to get put back on like that. And uh, it's a lot easier if you have somebody else around that can hold this because you're not going to catch the first tooth because of the sprig. So you kind of have to bring this over and plop it on. What I usually do is I go ahead and pre-thread, like I get it situated and kind of pre-thread all of the bolts. Uh, but And then have somebody reef on this. Uh, as long as you're past that first tooth, you're good. I usually try to, you know, last time I, I got about half. And then... Uh, and then kind of tighten her all down and then test it of course before i put it back in the door there you guys so it's been a couple days and i've repaired the window and it's been working great but i just wanted to mention two things uh, that may also affect your window not working so in that case the motor was still uh, working and the gear was broken um, but initially when i bought the car i actually had problems where the power windows and power uh, top stopped working so I just want to mention, um, of course, always check your fuses, which is under the, the uh, driver's side in this case. Um, but two more places to look. Uh, this is the relay. Now this might just be for the top, but um, I've heard that it's also for the windows because uh, a lot of the, um, it, it's got a lot of power draw for both the, the windows and the, the top. So this is the relay uh, it's a three-prong relay and i'm guessing it grounds just through the frame um this is the stock location for it so check that out um and you may want to test that if if your top or windows stop working and another area again i believe this is the stock location is this uh and this is a circuit breaker and it comes kind of right underneath the starter solenoid and right near the voltage regulator um, and basically you'll want to check that because in both cases they kind of run into my engine bay and into my a couple of my wiring harnesses um, but the wire comes all the way in and now I don't think that's obviously the stock wire that was run um, I believe just seeing this strung across means that um, somebody had some issues with it and repaired it there but uh, nevertheless I've actually had to tap that and uh, to have it come back so we're the shot just checking um, I had to kind of go surfing for you know because the 71 to 73 Cougars are the same as 71 to 73 Mustang so um, you know, I just thought I'd make a mention for it because I'm going to label this uh, window problems. Anyways, guys, uh, everything's back together. So I will make another update video when some progress happens and go from there. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, and until next time, enjoy your bacon.